never be the same again. Remale raba baba bo sele baba baba. Yes, monto ribo la teke ba. The path of the righteous is like the sunny light that shines more and more onto the brighter day. Lepko reba lebo satala mani. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Yeah, a little, there a little. Makala baba baba. We have been added up. We have been built up. We have been strengthened. Man son de le baba. Our capacity increased. Mon tali ron de le baba wo siti. Ah, shakare bo sarabate. Rato re ba le raba sole prate. Mon po le raba le ba le ke te le ba. Mon sa pa le re ba te. Ma son de le baba baba. Re be 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 be. Mon sole prate baba. A small one will be a strong nation. Masateke Baba, Lebro Le Baba Baba. Our gates are open continually. Mon Karibo Lebrade to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Lee Kala Baba Baba, Mon Tole Rabala Baba Baba. Unto us shall the garden of the people be from everywhere. Mon Celeron de Le Mane. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for this new level. Thank you, Father, for the new level of authority, for the new level of victory, for the new level of glory, for the new level of success. We cast out devils everywhere. We cast out devils everywhere. We cast out devils everywhere. In Liberia, we cast devils. In Sierra Leone, we cast devils. In Gambia, we cast devils. In Ghana, we cast devils everywhere. Makole re baba, rebeleke de rebo se. Makala baba ba, all over the world. Montori mole brosete, rabale baleke dosa, la ponta li brande. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We know who we are. We function in that place of authority. We function in the spirit. Rabale rebo sata. We'll never be disadvantaged. Never be disadvantaged. Never be disadvantaged. In the name of Jesus, we have moved. Male sole prande baha. Ora sata la baba. Mon sole prande baha. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Just lift your hands up and tell Him thank you for what you are about to receive this morning. Ora sile prande. Just honor Him for what you are about to receive this morning. Something is coming this morning. Oh, rale bande. Yes. He said, the word is sharper, sharper, masali prande, retele mande, sharper than any two I just saw. The word is coming this morning. Are you ready? Open up your spirit. Make declarations concerning what you are going to receive in this homecoming. Masse prande monde, rato ratele baba, mon karabo sile prande mahata, la kora sele prata baye. Ibrakatele mandele bosse, Ibrakatele mandele bosse. Ya pro kali pro se palita, li pro sonke deba, monko repale ba. Father, we are ready. Thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, Father. Our hearts are fed as swords. Mon solebrane, ye koria bale sata. Everything that comes, we receive. Retele bale sata. Our minds are open. Our spirits are alert this morning. Mon Kariabo Sepalete. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just wave those hands to Him. Wave those hands to Him and honor Him. Just honor Him. Kora Shire Balabaha Sete. Rabale Bro Sampaleba. We honor you, Jesus. We magnify your name. Thank you, Father. You are glorious. You are precious. Thank you. Thank you for leading us in your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Still an attitude of worship, lift up all hands.
kabodi bahasha takabadebis si bahata kabada bababashitis you are so good you are so good you are so good you are so
sing to him. Great are you, Lord. He's beyond expression. Great are you, Lord. tour guide on the streets of Old Havana, Cuba for 14 years. On a certain day in 2014, Yonaro started out on a journey of complete change and upliftment. This is a story of God's grace and the transforming power of His Word, given expression through the messenger angel, Rhapsody of Reality. My name is Genaro. I'm from Cuba. I want to talk today about how this book changed my life. It was in 2014. I was working like a tour guide, like a tourist guide in Old Havana, in Cuba. So one week, I used to work about eight years in just in one place. Two weeks before, I met some pastor from Nigeria. 
On that fateful afternoon, Yonaro met some Rhapsody missionaries on the streets of Cuba, and that was his first contact with Rhapsody of Realities. I saw a few people uh, get out from some bus. I offer what I, what I used to offer to the tourists, a tour around Havana and all that. In that same time, they told me, okay, we want to make the tour. And immediately when they get on the, the, the car from, with the horse, so they said they were a pastor from Nigeria and some other evangelists, and they give me this amazing book. And that day, a great movement began in Cuba. Yonaro got his first copy of Rhapsody of Realities, and he joined the missionaries for several days, not just showing them how beautiful Cuba was, but also to distribute Rhapsody of Realities on the streets of Havana. His contact with Rhapsody of Realities changed everything, and he got the opportunity to attend a partners conference with the man of God, Pastor Chris, in Lagos, Nigeria. He heard words from Pastor Chris that set him on a new pedestal of life. Yonaro returned to Cuba with determination to keep reading Rhapsody of Realities and putting to practice everything Pastor Chris instructed to do. He would make the confessions from Rhapsody of Realities and also say the prayers meditatively. And then the miracle started. In less than three months, he miraculously got a new apartment. First, I started to read Rhapsody of Reality and everything that Rhapsody of Reality said about my life, I started to to do it, you know, I start to read the plays from, you know, dear father, I trust in you in my life. I know that you are my God. I know that I can get everything here in this world. In less than three months, God gave me an amazing place, an amazing house, and an amazing price, you know. Yonaro also started a business franchise from practicing the Word of God in Rhapsody of Realities. I didn't have that money to start this franchise. We are talking about $200,000. I'm telling you, I never have seen in my life $10,000. And I was talking about $200,000. I was talking about business that I didn't have the money for that. But I believe in my heart that I had that money inside me. Like Pastor Chris said, you have all you need inside you. So I start to say, I have all this inside me. I can tell you today, brothers, that the raps of your reality changed my life. Today, I have the best restaurant in Cuba. Today already, I am building another two places in a country where the people say that it's not allowed to be a good future. I'm telling you, if you believe in God, if you do everything that Pastor Chris said through the Word of God, through raps of your reality that you have to do, your life will change completely, completely 100%. This book changed my, my way to see the Word of God. This book changed everything in my life. I can tell you today, thank you, Pastor Chris. Thank you for this special gift, gift from you. I want to say thank you to every partner of Raps of Your Realities because like they changed my life through this book they can change more and more and more life in Cuba and all around the world. Let's spread the love of Christ around the world through the distribution of Rhapsody of Realities. Join us today and let's change many more lives like Yonaro. Several more will come in contact with the gospel of Christ that guarantees total change and the transcendental life because of your partnership. To sponsor Rhapsody of Realities, please visit the partnership stand after the close of service. God bless you. Francesca Bertazzo, and I'm from Bassano del Grappa, a small town near Venice. The first time I had uh, a copy of the Rhapsody of the Reality was uh, during a, a vocal uh, lesson that uh, I did uh, to one of my students. 
she gave me a copy of the Rhapsody uh, and I started, I started to read it. At that time, I was already reading the Rhapsody of Reality, but uh, not in a serious way. So I was not constant, I wasn't reading the, the Rhapsody every day, only now and then, and I wasn't really taking, taking it seriously. In 2013, all in a sudden, I started to have um, uh, these horrible uh, panic attacks while, while I was driving my car, um, mostly while, while I was driving on very congested highways. And um, this was the beginning of the problem. And uh, then after the first time that I had my, my panic attack, I, I started to have more panic attacks um, driving and also in different situations um, while I was with uh, a lot of people or while I was um, in a lift. I always had fear, fear of, of everything, fear of people, of uh, trips, of taking an airplane, taking the train, taking the car, driving. It, it was very, it, it was a hard time for me. I started to have problems with claustrophobia, so my, my life started to have a lot of problems. So um, at a certain point, uh, I really wanted uh, to resolve my situation, at least uh, the, the problem about panic attacks. So I went to a psychologist for a period of time and uh, after some months with her, my situation wasn't changing. I, I still had these panic attacks and still my situation uh, with my companion was really bad. Um, but uh, I remember that one day the psychologist told me that um, she, she felt that my faith in God was so true that I shouldn't have these problems. And that for me was a total revelation. I went home, I, I took the Rhapsody of Reality and I started to read it every day, every day and, and pray loud, out loud. La vera essenza del cristianesimo è il fatto che Cristo Gesù vive letteralmente nel tuo spirito attraverso lo Spirito Santo. And uh, I started to feel uh, my life changing inside of me suddenly. So one day I, I felt this strength inside of me and uh, I took my car and I went straight to the highway. When I felt that the panic attack was arriving, I just prayed out loud God and, and asked God to, to free me from this, from, from this bad sensation. All in a sudden, the panic attacks disappeared and I felt suddenly good. And so I went home and I, I felt really renewed, like my, my life really changed in that moment. And then after uh, some months of reading every day the Rhapsody, I didn't have any more panic attacks and um, little by little my situation uh, with my companion uh, got better and, uh, and also um, the depression of my daughter um, disappeared after a few months. And then um, I found it uh, better for me later to, to read uh, the Rhapsody in, uh, in the soft copy through the social network because um, I find it's um, uh, easier to, to get it. Uh, you, um, I always have the telephone with me and uh, it, I can read it in every moment of, uh, of my day. Sono nato da Dio e Cristo vive in me mediante lo Spirito Santo.
Come and lift your hands and worship. We extol His holy name. Shataba koda brani dehasha. Zibandozo prade goho shakta za. Shataba kanda darbani dehasha. Motaba koja pala koza dehasha. Fulfilling me with your love, cover me with your grace, face that shines from up above. Helping me to run this race, for your compassion I'm amazed, humble and gentle like a dove. Fulfilled in me with your love, cover me with your grace, face that shines from up above. You helping me to run this race, for your compassion I'm amazed, I'm humble and gentle.
Jesus. He's the reason. The name of Jesus is like a strong tower. The righteous running and they are saved. Oh God. We worship you, Jesus, Lord. We extol your name. We extol your name, Jesus. We, your name, Jesus. we give you all the praise, oh God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and worship the Lord. It's a new level for us. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the new level. Come on, let's sing. There's an outpouring, there's an outpouring of abundance, of abundance, and new doors, new doors, new doors have been opened, have been opened. Sing the land is green, the land it is green, it is green, and a new grave, new grave, and relief has been. There's an outpouring. There's an outpouring. There's an outpouring of abundance. Of abundance. And new doors have been opened. New doors have been opened. Sing the land is green. The land. The land. It is green. It is green. And a new grace has been released.
magnify his holy name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We praise you, righteous one. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings of your spirit these past two days. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. We adore you, righteous one. And this morning, Lord, our hearts and our minds are open to receive your word in faith and weakness. We receive it gladly. And we are changed, we are transformed, we are metamorphosed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a new level. Hallelujah. Who is functioning at a new level right now? You are? Glory to God. Well, if you were at the one night of blessings with a man of God at the Black Star Arena or Black Star Square, right? Square. Praise God. It means that you definitely will be functioning at a brand new level. Glory to God. It's so amazing. We have moved. I mean, by the time you see folks on Monday, tomorrow, you start telling them, I've moved. I've, ch I've changed levels. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And um, while several tens of thousands were there on Friday night, some of us were privileged to have, to be in the same place with Pastor yesterday evening, in the same room. So how many of you were there at the Love One Arena yesterday? Whoa! Ah, if you were in there, that means that you have to be there next time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, of course, another select group having another special meeting tonight. Yeah. So those who don't qualify to be there will tell you what Pastor said when we see you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome somebody to church this morning. At least two people welcome them. Say, I'm glad to see you. Glory to God. And tell the person beside you that you, you look like you are in, you are at a new level right now. You look like someone who has moved. I, I, don't you think so? The person beside you looks like somebody who has moved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you actually moved yesterday? I mean, I mean, to the point that Papa even laid hands on the guy. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that means in the spirit now you are like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First of all, let me thank Pastor Ernest and Pastor Christy. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. And we have some very special people here with us this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I would... introduce them one after the other and as they come up they're going to share a few thoughts with us because you see when we have special people like this we can't just have them come in and go like that we have to like huh? do like this say we have to mm? uh -huh. <laughs> Now, it's not, it's not enough for your hand to do it. Your spirit also has to. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. There's somebody very special. I've known him for a very, very long time. A great man of God. And he is the regional pastor of the southeast region in Nigeria, 
I want us to stand up and put our hands together for Pastor John Amakin. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. Glory to God. All right, please sit down and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Actually, it's very evident, even on your faces, that it's a new level. Yeah. Glory. Congratulate somebody next to you. Say congratulations. Congratulations. Hallelujah. In fact, even after that Friday night. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you were crawling, I see you walking. If you were walking, I see you running. And if you were running, I see you flying. If you were flying, I see you soaring higher and higher and higher and higher. There's no stopping you now. There's no stopping you now. Like Pastor would say, you cannot, where is the devil now? Praise the Lord. You have moved. Some of you, you know, as you go about your activity, uh, activities, people who look at you, definitely they are going to wonder. And you yourself, you say, am I dreaming? No, you are not dreaming. The grace in your life has been multiplied. Yeah. Glory. Glory. God bless you. Congratulations again. Glory to God. Thank you very much, Pastor John. Thank you so much, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, let's remain standing as we make welcome the zonal pastor of Christ Embassy Benin. One. Pastor Moses Olayemi. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Thank you so very much. I want to thank uh, the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Yakilome for making our lives beautiful, giving us this unique message. And I also want to thank God for giving us the ability to understand and receive the message. Praise the Lord. I'm also very honored. Thank you so much, sir, to a highly esteemed regional pastor and member of the CAC. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. You know, pastor has been my father, and I always say it everywhere I go that the very first program I had as a church pastor, it was pastor that pushed me to have the program. I was just made a pastor, and I didn't know what to do. I mean, I was not expecting it. And pastor said, hold the program. Lay hands on them. Then you know that, <laughs> praise the Lord, God had gifted you already. And the program was a success. And that program gave me so much boldness to do many things in ministry. Thank you so very much. I love you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. And I also want to thank our highly esteemed directors and pastors here present. Thank you so very much. And also the highly esteemed Pastor Ernest and his lovely wife. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. This place is so lovely. Now, I came for the night of blessing because of my understanding of the word blessing. Pastor had taught us several times, several, um, if you go to the PCDL, there are several topics on the blessing. I'd like to go back and listen to every one of them. You know, and because of pastor's teaching over the years, pastor will tell us there's something called the first law of mention. When a particular thing was mentioned in the Bible for the first time, and I would like to know, why was it mentioned? Who mentioned it? How did he say it? 
what happened thereafter. And Pastor had given us several examples of such things. And I decided to ask myself one day, the word priest, when was it first mentioned in the Bible? How was it mentioned? What led to it? And what happened after? I found out that the word priest was mentioned first in the book of Genesis. Genesis 14. And I began to ask myself, why was it mentioned? Why did it have to come into play at that particular time? I discovered that the Lord called Abraham many years earlier in Genesis 12 and promised Abraham that he was going to make him a great nation and bless him. A great nation and bless him. And Abraham became great already. And only a greater can bless the lesser. So there was no one on planet Earth that had the capacity to bless Abraham. God had to usher in Melchizedek, a man who had no beginning and no end, and obviously was a type of Christ, to come into the life of Abraham for Abraham's next level. And so in Genesis 14, Abraham was coming from the victory and he met with Melchizedek. And the Bible said, Melchizedek blessed him and said several things. You needed to see the life of Abraham. Then he was Abraham. You needed to see his life after that blessing. The Bible says at the end, Abraham was rich in all things. All things. He lacked nothing. And the Bible says Christ has come in the order of who? Melchizedek. And when Christ came, he gave us what? Gifts. And the first gift he gave to us was what? The apostles. And guess what? The apostle to this generation. Not, I, I mean what I'm saying. The apostle to this generation has come to Ghana. Not for a night of bliss, he told us, but for a night of what? Blessing. It matters what you received. It matters that you understand what you have received. Use it, my brother. Because I'm telling you, I'm going back to use mine, and you will hear my testimony. Thank you, and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. And um, sorry, Pastor, Pastor, sorry. And you are coming here next year, right? You're coming, right? Huh? You're coming. Yes. Sorry, sorry. You're coming here next year, right? Yes, Pastor. Come and minister to us, right? Yes, Pastor. All right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. All right. You're actually standing, waiting for the next person, right? Your, your, your heart is really going. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. And you will like the next person. Praise the Lord. Because now if I say what I want to say, you now know the next person. Because the next word was going to reveal the gender. <laughs> All right. The director of Church Growth International, Pastor Larry Alabi. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Please, you may be seated. Praise God. Pastor, I thank you so much. I'm very grateful. Hallelujah. And I also want to greet this thing, Pastor Ernest. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful church. Wonderful. And I want to greet also this thing, Pastor Dukbe. Good morning to you and our esteemed Pastor John Amekinen. You're welcome. And of course, Pastor. Moses and all our leaders, Pastor Christine, all the leaders sitting over there. And to you too, I want to congratulate you for what we have received. 
I'm forever grateful to our man of God, Reverend Chris Akilome. Pastor, sir, thank you so much. You know, we, we keep thanking Pastor all the time because, um, you know, when we think, Hallelujah. You know, when we think about what Pastor has done for us, how he has so given himself to see us become the best that God has called us to be, you'll be determined to not allow the investment to be wasted. I'm inspired by Pastor's determination. The things that he shares with us, these are things that he has known, things that are already working for him. And if he didn't tell us, they will still work for him. But he has received from God, not kept it to himself, and lavishly poured out the same unto us. I'm convinced, and I've said it several times, that the best way to greet pastor and to thank him is with your results and I know I like the way the same pastor John what is said about if you are crawling you will work if you are working you will run if you are running you will fly if you are flying already you soar and then the same pastor Moses came to give us also the genesis of what it means to be blessed a night of blessing and let me tell you the mission was accomplished. Pastor came for a night of blessing and he has deposited the blessing. Let me now mention and pick up from where Pastor Moses said. He said you have to use it. You have to use it. And my admonition, brothers and sisters, is that whenever God makes an investment, there will be a demand on it. And so, there's a burden of responsibility that having heard what you heard the man of God must not come back here next year and meet you as he met you this year and your actions and the steps that you take that's the only variable everything else is ready God is ready the man of God has delivered the blessing has been deposited it's now up to you what you will do with it how determined you will be to put it to work one of the things that I've learned over the years is that grace when grace is increased upon you it puts a demand on labor grace is not to keep grace is to use you have to apply it so you have to start new things don't keep doing the same things you were doing launch out and do something bold start something new do what you've never done before that's one of the ways to unleash grace. Test it. Test it. Start something new. Take the one you're already doing to another level. And you will not have to struggle. And the key is to begin on time. To start early. That's also how to sustain the inspiration. Because the tendency for inspiration, like fire, is for it to go out. But as you stock it by speaking in tongues, as you stock it by refreshing yourself with the words that have come to you, and then applying it, you're going to find that it will just be from glory to glory to glory. Hallelujah. And something I want to also mention to you is that however great the words that you heard from the man of God on Friday into Saturday, as great as those words were some of them were words that had never been spoken this side of heaven the man of God revealing to us what will become or what God has in store for this nation as great as those words were you were the people qualified to hear them you see the pastor didn't go to the state house he didn't go to address the national assembly he came to address you God doesn't make mistakes 
Jesus told us, said, don't cast your pearls before swine, which means he will not do the same. He said, don't give that which is holy to the dogs. Meaning, give information to those who deserve it. And so, for the information that you receive, it means you deserve it. It means God has seen what you will make of it. And you will not disappoint God. You won't disappoint pastor. And you will not have to struggle. When we have the aspiration to do big things with God, it doesn't mean that, oh, now I have to plan to struggle. No, 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 no. Pastor said to me one day, so I was at a meeting. He said, the work of the ministry is neither easy nor difficult. It is by the Spirit. And that will be your testimony. The new levels that you produce, the new accomplishments that you produce will be by the Spirit. Hallelujah. And if it is by the Spirit, then it means the results will last. And they will be acceptable unto God. And there will be a permanent testimony for eternity. Thank you so much. We look forward to celebrating the things you're doing, Ghana. We too have received and we're going to do great things. God bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. So, now, now, you know, Pastor Larry was actually supposed to have been here with us. In fact, sir, when you were telling Pastor Moses that you're coming back next year, yes. I told him, I said, so Pastor has already selected you into the team <laughs> of the CGI because we will come back. All we'll right. Come. <laughs> we'll come Thank you very much. And, um, and I'm very sure that I'm very sure that CGI coming here will be like in the first quarter. Yes, early. Early. Yes. Before March. Oh, certainly. Thank certainly. you. Thank you, sir. Very good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow, 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 wow. Glory to God. So we're having something hot taking place here early next year. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. And... Of course, today we have somebody very, very special and a great woman of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mighty in words and deeds. And of course, I should know <laughs> because she happens to be my wife. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for Pastor Dupay Cecile. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Pastor, our man of God, for the opportunity to be here with you this morning. And I'd like to thank our regional pastor. I'm in this region also. So we're all together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'd like to thank all our esteemed pastors who are here this morning, Pastor John, Pastor Larry, Pastor Moses, Pastor Ernest, Pastor Christie, and all the leaders in Christ and Basin Nungwa. Thank you so much. You are wonderful people. You are beautiful people. And it's always nice to be with you. I think um, sometime first quarter this year I was here, and we had a great time together. Hallelujah. Um, so many words have been spoken and what we need to do is to act on the words to do the word because the bible says it's not just the hearer there's no point in being a hearer without a doer hallelujah so you have received so much you know one night of blessings with our man of god your life cannot be the same again amen pastor said to us that we have moved amen he said we have been promoted hallelujah you are a packet of blessings hallelujah and where you go to you release blessings you are not the one in need you are not the one who is needy you are now the one who is lifting up people hallelujah because Abraham was blessed to be a blessing he was blessed to be a lifter. Hallelujah. It means that when you go to work tomorrow, and when you meet people tomorrow, 
you know that you are the solution. You are the answer. You are the problem solver. And you are the solution bringer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you're going with that understanding. You're going with that knowledge. Ghana can no longer be the same because of the words you've heard. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about Paul. He said, these were people that turned the world upside down. Why? Because of what they heard from Jesus. Hallelujah. You cannot be quiet. Amen. Because of what you have heard, you are a blessing. This blessing is not just for yourself. It's for everyone in your sphere of contact. It's for everyone around you because you are the light of the world. You are the light in your office. You are the light in your neighborhood. Wherever you go to, you are the light. And light shines. Light cannot be hidden. Light illuminates. Light reveals. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So anywhere you go to, you are shining with this light. You are shining with this revelation. Amen. You have been promoted. You are favored of God. The grace of God is at work in your life. And you know, grace cannot be explained. Hallelujah. It is the outward working of the divine presence in you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you can't keep quiet. Amen. Say it, I can't keep quiet. I've got something to shout about. Hallelujah. And so we are filling everywhere with the knowledge of what we have received. Amen. Because you are a blessing. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Please give her a big hand. Glory to God. I mean, if, if all they said, if all they have said, all they have said, Pastor John, Pastor Moses, Pastor Larry, and Pastor Dupay, if just this short exhortation they gave to us in the past 30 minutes was all that we heard this morning. It's good, good, good. Enough for us to run with. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sit down for a minute. Glory to God. You know, the Bible says it's not the hearers of the words that are blessed, but the doers. A man of God expressly told us that we have moved, we have been promoted, and we have changed levels by reason of the one night of blessings. Just being in that place alone, you were under a special influence of the Spirit that characterizes the ministry of a man of God. And in that environment, everything changes. Glory to God. One of the things I tell people, I have been with a man of God the last 34 years of my life, you know, and um, any meeting that you go in with, you go in, anytime you're in a meeting with pastor, you're changed. And you know, the interesting thing is that um, it's not just when it's a special meeting, you know, like Pastor Larry was telling us just now that he, they were in a meeting and that obviously was a small meeting. And pastor said something that was so instructive, you know, to him. And which changes perspective that the work of the ministry is not easy, it's not hard, it's by the Spirit. Hallelujah. So we have attended this program. We have received from the spiritual man of God. Now the next thing is All right. Um I'm told that we're expecting some more guests. Don't worry, sit down. <laughs> Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Just shows you that we have moved. I mean, already we already have Pastor John, we have um, Pastor Landry, we have Pastor Moses, we have Pastor Dupe, and now we are now expecting some more. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it's not just what you, it's not just, in, it's not just enough to have heard, it's now what you do with what you have heard. Glory to God. Pastor Larry told us something. He said, the, the best way to show appreciation to a man of God is to carry out the results. Do something, and then there are results. Are you following? So the results that you produce as a result of what you have heard is the way you show appreciation. Hallelujah. Pastor said something to us yesterday in the leaders and partners um, meeting that we had. He said, um, you don't... He said to us yesterday, the leaders and partners conference that we had, he said, after being in the place for six years, something should change drastically, dramatically. Are you following? Something would have changed by reason. You see, because now you've put to work what you have learned, and as you put those things to work, you move to the next level. For example, if I bring what he said home here, it means that we shouldn't be seeing some of you here by next year. You should have gone somewhere to start something new. Are you following? Start something new. Somebody was sharing with me, one of our pastors here was sharing with me how that between February and now, his group has started some five, six churches. Between February and now. <laughs> Glory to God. Five, six churches. Just less than 10 months. So you as a cell leader, what are you going to do? You as a partner, what are you going to do the next 10 months? Are you following this? Moses, like Pastor told us yesterday, started his ministry at the age of 80. He started at age 80. 80 years old. And God said, it's time to start. And the guy moves on and functions for another 40 years. 40 years. Caleb is 85. And he comes to Moses and says, I want to start my work now. There's a ministry in Hebron. 85. He said, the man of God, Moses, promised me that land 45 years ago. He said, now, give me this mountain. I'll take it. The guy is 85. Are you following this? You say, give me this mountain. Give me this place. There's a location. There's a locality. There is somewhere that you want to pick. You say, give me this mountain. In other words, just tell me to go. Give me the permission. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you following this? So the results, you see, we have received enough grace from this meeting. To produce the results that a man of God wants us to have by the Holy Ghost. So much grace. And you shouldn't be concerned. You shouldn't be concerned about those who are helping you, those who are with you, or those who are not with you.
the Bible says there was a man sent from God whose name was John. If you are a man sent from God, that's all the credential that you need. That's all that you need. A man sent from God with an understanding of what he has deposited inside you. Are you following? With an understanding of what has been deposited inside you and then you get to work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let, let me read a scripture to you from Second Samuel. since about 8 o'clock. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes. So you can imagine I came two hours late. <laughs> but uh, I actually came to say one hello to you. Hello. And uh, to all to say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your love, for your commitment to the work of the ministry, your partnership. Thank you. And look at this lovely place that you have. So beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you for doing this. Sit down for a second. I love you. Look at the choir. You look so beautiful. Praise God. And uh, where is it? Where is the children's section? Where are the kids? They're somewhere behind, right? Okay, that's wonderful. So who's up there? How y'all doing? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We honor you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. 
Thank you for your blessings in our lives. So much for every man in this place, every woman, every boy and every girl and every child. Thank you for your blessings in their lives. Thank you for the manifestation of your grace in their lives. Laramondo practice Safradila Crostasis. Jolando Brega Fastla Hadagas. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for increasing the grace in the life of each one in this space. Thank you for the empowerment, the ability that you've granted them in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit in their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for their work, for their businesses, their finances, their families. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for manifesting yourself, manifesting your grace in their lives. So Shorendo brakti la cruce fare di che se stai. Sora mande la gira per adesso il suo sussurri. Chi va l'ando, chi va a sedere. Chi va l'ando, chi la ronde sa brakti la cruce di se. Manto pradis. Your blessings in their lives have multiplied. Mali cruce parti cruce che fare di le gastis. Gelondo brakti carondo se vredi. Libra di go sopra di che la hande se te. Jora manda pigo sozes, jero ndo plea kabasa tara matia, lambo ndo grobo seteke, li garaba satora bakasete, li prason de le rabondo sabradia, li garaondo skejo sarabrage sarahaya, oh la kona basa tara bakasete. Thank you Lord Jesus. I just want to, where are the Every young man and every young woman in this place, all the youths, can you come closer to the front? Okay now. You don't need to rush. Wherever you are is going to be fine, all right? Can I have the instrumentalist back on the equipment, please? You have a great future in front of you. You know, one day, the young man, David, met with the man of God, Samuel. His life was changed forever. From being a shepherd, his journey was on the way to the throne. He became king. Same thing happened with Saul. The day he met Samuel, his life was altered. There's something about your contact with the anointing of God's spirit. It changes your life. It changes the direction of your life completely completely Holy Spirit have your way in me Holy Spirit have your way in me can I hear the sounds make my life what it ought to be holy spirit have your way in me precious spirit of god have your way in me can i hear the keyboard is anybody on the keyboard isn't it simple enough 
Can you hear me? Is it okay? Have your way in me and make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit, have your way in me. Holy Spirit, have your way in me. Holy Spirit, have your way in me. And make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit, have your way in me. Precious Spirit of God, have your way in me. Holy Spirit of God, have your way in me. And make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit, have your way. What it ought to be, Holy Spirit, have your way in me, precious Spirit of God, direct my life, Holy Spirit of God. Direct my life, make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit, direct my life, make my life. What it ought to be, Holy Spirit, direct my love, precious Lord Jesus. Reverend now. Please be reverent now. Father, I pray for these young people. Just make their life what it ought to be. Help them to become what God planned for them to be. Direct their life, I pray. Fill them with wisdom. Fill them with wisdom. Fill their life with light. Each one of them. Take away every hurt from their hearts. Take away every disappointment. Every pain. Frustration. Take it out of their lives, I pray. Take it out of their lives. Right now. Let 
His grace come upon them today. This mighty grace of the Holy Spirit. And they be filled with the Spirit of God. Filled with the Spirit of God. for you and as I pray the power of the Spirit of God will surge through your being surge through this place are you ready to receive this grace there's an increased grace for you can I have the ushers out of the way please just help me come out of the way are you ready to receive where is pastor Ernest come and help me hold this microphone come come quick Are you ready? Are you ready? In the name. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant this grace to each one of them. In Jesus' name, take it! The power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and worship him. Open your mouth and worship him. And give him glory. Give him glory. And give him glory. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing. Hallelujah to the Lord. Sing. set your feet on a higher plane the Holy Ghost has paved your way has planned your life
God is going to use you. Do you know that? God is going to use you in a very special way. There's no telling where he's taking you to. Where he's taking you to. And the journey has started. The journey has started. Tell somebody close to you, my journey has started. Yes. Hallelujah. God is going to drop ideas in your hearts. And not only will He give you an idea, He'll give you guidance. 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 Motivation. Inspiration. You know, sometimes some people have an idea. But they don't have an inspiration. Inspiration is something different. Then some people are inspired, but the inspiration is not enough to motivate them into action. He's inspired so he might talk about it, but to be motivated to action. The drive to perform is something different. God is going to give you ideas, inspiration, and motivation. So you're not only going to know what to do, but you'll be moved to do by the power of the Holy Spirit. Many years from now, you're going to remember this day. Many years from now, you will remember. You will remember. Lift your hands everywhere. Precious Jesus, thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for blessing your children today. They'll never be the same again. Never the same again. How many of you here have been winning souls? Are you a soul winner? How many souls have you won this year? This is the ending part of October. We're in the last week of October. All right? So there's just two months to go in 2019 will close. So how many souls have you won to the Lord this year? How many of you have won more than 10 souls this year? That's wonderful. More than 10 souls this year. You want more than 10 souls? Where are they? Some of them are in church. Come here. What's your name? How, how many people came to church? Who's here who came to church because of this young guy? Here? You did. You did. Come here. Who else came to church? Anybody else? That's wonderful. He brought you to the Lord. That's wonderful. And, and you know what the Bible says? For one sinner that repents, one, it says there's joy in heaven. 
in heaven one one lost soul that is brought to God there's a celebration in heaven so you can imagine what that means he is known in heaven because of one soul it's the words of Jesus Jesus said so you can argue with that Jesus said so one soul and you don't know what that one person represents for example pastor Ernest came here and he started this church one man is responsible for the lives of so many in this place you don't know what the value of one soul is and he can point to one soul that he brought to Christ in the house of God in the house of God hallelujah who else who else has won that many souls this year you've won souls this year any of them in the house here really come up here who is here who was led to the Lord by him you you brought him to the Lord who else who else is here who else is here anybody else just raise your hand let me see you anybody else you came to church because of this gentleman is anybody else let me see you anybody else yeah, but we, we've got one here one is a testimony at least one soul is a testimony an undeniable testimony because when when we stand before the Lord we're not going to say to the Lord well I want souls the Lord says so where are your souls well I know I want souls no they're going to have to be people persons that are in the house of God so when you win souls bring them to the house of God it is too important you know you help them come to the house of God when we lead souls to Christ it doesn't matter where we do it we're in the workplace on the plane in the school we tell them where to come to church if, if they're too far away from our own church then we contact someone where they are that's what we do to follow them up we say meet with so and so it's not uh, winning souls is too important it's not something we just do and let's go no no we follow it up until that soul becomes a soul winner each one of us was brought to the Lord someone someone led us to Christ someone someone led us to Christ and now we're leading others to Christ we would have never heard the message if somebody hadn't told us so we must be grateful enough to tell others lift your hands father use this young man for your glory use them for your glory Use this young man for your glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Use them for your glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't stop winning souls. Make it what it really is your life work. It is your life work. Winning souls is your life work. Whether you're an engineer, a judge, a lawyer, a businessman, a politician. You brought two souls today. Where are they? Two souls. Come here. here that came to church praise God come here
make it your life work you know God had only one son he made him a soul winner Jesus Christ he said the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost he came to seek and to save that which was lost that's what the Bible says So winning souls is God's number one job. So everything else that God gives you is a, a vehicle to help you reach lost souls. Lift your hands everywhere. Thank Him for what He's done for you. Thank Him for what He's done for you. Thank Him for the life He has given you. Thank Him for His grace upon your life. Thank Him for the changes that you have experienced in your life. Thank Him for the glory that He has given you. Lord, we use him even more. Use him for your glory. Use him for your glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Basata Kabara Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we bless you. We bless your name. Thank you. Thank you. I rebuke sickness, disease, and infirmity of the body. It doesn't matter what condition you came with. I rebuke that sickness in Jesus' name. I rebuke that disease. It goes out of your body now. In the name of Jesus. And if your body had become addicted to drugs, I rebuke that influence right now in the name of Jesus Christ and your body is cleansed by the Holy Ghost cleansed by the Spirit of God in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah now thank you every one of you including the church leaders the leaders of various groups children's church leaders is there a way I can get to the children's section? Is there a way? Okay, I'd like to go there. I just want to pray for the kids over there. Thank you all very much. Thank you. God bless you.
the center of it all. Yeah. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. At the center.
Jesus. In your name, every knee shall bow. In your name, every tongue shall confess that you are Lord, you are Lord of all, you are Lord. Jesus.
ma, 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 ma. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, Pastor John actually said, we are sorry. I mean, not only that we were at the Black Star Square, Father shows up in church this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. And then all those young people that came out to receive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's no more message. No more preaching. So bring out your offerings. <laughs> Hallelujah. The offering today is a very special one. The offering today very, very special. Very special. Huh? All right, sit down and take that special seat. Just the blessing of the words that we heard from a man of God this morning. We want to sow and connect to every word and ensure that it gets into our spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So whatever it is that you came thinking you were going to do, you're going to give to the Lord today, it has changed. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. So now let's bring out God's offerings and tithes. If you want an envelope, you can just indicate the ushers to bring. Even, um, ushers, please, we have a couple of our brethren who need envelopes. Glory to God. Can I have an usher give an envelope to this brother here? Just raise the hand up and the ushers will locate you. Ushers, envelopes. Sister, that usher. Why, why is there an usher without envelopes? All right, quickly, please. If the envelope hasn't reached you, please just keep your hand up and it will get to you. Sister, we have Usher. Do you have envelopes with you? We have some people here. They need envelopes. Can, we, can I have an envelope for the second row here? There's somebody on the second row who needs an envelope. Do you have an envelope? All right, there's somebody here. There are some folks over here.
Hallelujah. All right. So which song are you guys singing? I was born to give you worship, sir. Sorry? I was born to give you worship. Sorry, can we sing the other one we sang before? The one at the beginning. It's a new level. There's an pouring of abundance. Yeah. New doors. Very obvious. Have been open. Oh yeah. The land. It is green. All right, the backs can go round. New grace has been released. There's an pouring. And I'm pouring all the bonders.
moving about and moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favor. I am walking in abundance. I'm moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favor. I'm walking. I am walking. in response and obedience to your word and now Lord we invoke your anointing upon these offerings and special seeds and Lord we declare Lord that they be multiplied for the work of the ministry and everyone that has given this morning they are blessed for their giving a multiplied half is a blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Lord in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah Glory to God. Turn around to three people and congratulate them on 